so fast. Today's tester, Akira Ida. Hi everyone, we have 660cc K cars today. I'm not sure if I can call them K cars, they've got turbo. With a little bit of tuning, they run like 2 liter cars. There are the new generation K cars. Now you can also choose white Olympic license plates instead of yellow ones. I have a white license plate on my Jimny too. People often don't believe there are K cars. I've got three K cars today. I'm going to check their abilities. They all look different. I've heard Kansai area shops are working hard. I would like to check how far the tuning setups have come and have I would like to check how far the tuning setups have come and how good the performance is. 660cc sport tuning max speed and accelerating time test. Spoon, Jomoto-san. The concept of this car is to enjoy it in town and also at short circuits. I worked on this car hoping the owners could easily tune their own cars the way I did. When I changed the max speed with this car before, it got so close to 200 kilometers. This time it isn't tuned that aggressively. Although this time I tried to make a car so that general users could also tune their own car and enjoy riding in town. It's got shock observers for suspension. I use Spoon's product. These tires and wheels are also sold on the market, so anyone can find them easily. The engine hasn't changed much either. I use Spoon's normal complete engine and set it up so that anyone can easily try. So you can re-emerge it. The normal engine has pistons and con rods. This car has three cylinders. The piston and con rods are combined weight is about 800 grams. Speaking of normal engines, the combined weight of those three vary about 3 to 4 grams. For engines like Type R, they vary about 2 grams. We have adjusted the weight variance to 0.01 gram, so it's perfectly balanced weight-wise. Any driver can feel it working smoothly when the engine is well balanced. It won't bring the power up though. However, the smooth rotation helps the engine to rotate faster. And also it reduces the vibration so the durability increases. This is one of the answers that we found over many years of doing endurance races. Zero to thousand meters, thirty point five five seconds. I thought it was NA. The engine was that smooth and flat. I almost forgot that it had a turbo when I was heading back with the window open. The engine was very light, and I could accelerate at any gears like third or fourth. It could run so smoothly like it is an automatic. The body has spoons brace. S660 used to feel a little shaky and scary when I would go around 100 to 120 kilometers. 
However, this one felt heavy and the centroid was set low. I could ride it without any worries. It has surely developed. I'm amazed by what Spoon can do. I don't have an image of tuning shop for Spoon. What they're doing is more like makers or technicians. They know exactly what we want. They make things that makers couldn't complete maybe due to the cost or something. In the meaning of making cars, they make cars process by process until the car is completed. That's a characteristic of a spoon. Max speed 187.40 km per hour. The image is not just fast or it has a great impact. Spoon has been working on many other Honda cars though. I feel the real careness. I feel the real carness with this car. KC Technica, Fujiyama san. Dad can ride it like a sports car. Mom can also use it for daily grocery shopping because it's automatic. The family can enjoy traveling. I think it is very nice for many occasions. You can't use normal sports cars like that. I think it's a perfect car. The engine is Suzuki's R06A. You can ride it at Eco mode. And sporty acceleration is also allowed. The engine is quite strong. So I don't think the maintenance is too hard. It's got F3 turbine. We are making this kit so that computer, turbine and plug come in one. The engine is basically completely normal. It is possible to bring the power up with a normal engine. We have just released this KC Street Shock Absorber Kit. 6 kg for front and 3.5 kg for rear. They are a little soft. The angle of damping is controllable. You can adjust delicately. This base car can't be bought as a new car anymore. But you can find many at used car markets. The price is very affordable nowadays too. So I recommend that you buy Turbo RS as a base car. And you can have lots of fun customizing it. Zero to thousand meters, 32.71 seconds. I didn't realize at first because I didn't take a close look. I thought it was works, but it was RS, which is cheaper. They aren't sold anymore. But this Arto was popular back then. I asked Keiji-san why he bought this car today. He said because it was cheap. K-cars usually don't become too cheap because they are so popular. I know it's hard to choose one among many K-cars. But with this Alto, you can simply buy one at a used car shop and add the turbine and computer. It runs as good as works. It's automatic, so there's a little time lag when I shift up because the boost is working. 
But you can get used to it easily. The acceleration and the torque are very good. I even think it is better than Alto Works. However, it won't accelerate all the way to the top. So the max speed is a little hard to challenge. But it runs well, for sure. It might be better to buy this than Works. It was a very interesting Alto. The engine feels torque full and I could also feel the acceleration. During the acceleration shifting up, I could feel the speed and its potential. It turned out totally different from other Alto Turbo RS. So I think it is better than Alto Works in that way. The cost performance is better. And getting one is easier. It is a very fun Alto. Max speed, 177 kilometers per hour. I thought it could reach more for the max speed. It is automatic, so... It's rather tall too, air resistance affects it also. It accelerated fast and was powerful up to around 170 km per hour. It is dangerous to ride in this car at 170 km per hour, so I think it's good enough. Mofak Morimoto-san. The concept is Commuter Express. We were originally tuning Copen, so we had the know-how. So we tried to fast-tune the car. As you can see, it looks almost normal from the outside. I used Osaka Show Up's color. So the color is different from the original par white. You see a pink color when the light hits it. Tires are Admin 052 and 195 in size. This size is very wide for a K car. So we made the suspension to fit for these wide tires. Same 660cc engine. Actually, it's tuned all over. Cone road, piston, camshaft, turbocharger, and in and out take muffler. Most of them can be bought easily. It has 160 horsepower. Three times stronger than the original. I'm actually using this car for commuting. I am actually using this car for commuting. It can be totally used for commuting, with a license plate number. The appearance isn't too much either. And also, it can run at circuits. It's like club sports. Zero to thousand meters, 29.24 seconds. To be honest, it is too much. It doesn't feel like a K car. It's a K car, but I can't believe it was a K car that I was riding. In that meaning, the performance is very well. The car itself has so much potential. It was so well tuned. I hesitate to call it a K car. Max speed 211.05 km per hour. 
The acceleration and power were so great. I was surprised that it was 660cc. It got over 200 km per hour for max speed. It hit 211 km per hour. I'm very amazed. It wasn't scary at all inside the bank. It was very stable. Anyway, it is simply amazing that 660cc car can hit 210 km per hour. You can tune up this good with commercial products. It's amazing. Find out more on Ultimate 660 GT World Volume 1 Option September Edition.